Guys, it's time to speed test the Vigilante. I've got the Hobby Wing 5690 motor in this thing. The huge mega block, okay? 22 pinning gear, which is as big as you can fit in stock form, right? So, I've already done the drive. I know how fast this thing is going to do. And, um, you guys are going to just have to hang out and see what happens. Let's get outside. Okay, let's see what this thing has got. Now, I did... Now the front still pulled down, the back is in the loose position. So I'm just kind of curious here. Keep that front end down, kind of float that thing around a little bit. Where are we at here? All right, bring it right on down. <laughs> that front end is just kind of floating, isn't it? But it's not wheeling. That is running good. I think it was a good thing to let that back end move a little bit. That's nice. Let's check, see what this thing's got here. I don't want to dust everything up, especially the inside of my car. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I'm estimating about 96 miles per hour. All right, let's see here. Might be a little under that. Woo, 52. Dudes, that is moving. That is getting it, man, heck yeah. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm gonna try it again. That was, that was good. Dude, 52. I mean, 22 pin gear. I mean, you could probably get this, honestly, with the stock motor. Probably, I don't know, if that, probably a little bit more time to really spiel, spiel, and to wind up. And this is like the only place I have that I can really do this. I wanna try to hit this other area over here. Oh, that was nice, don't, don't, don't flip. That was a good pull right there now. A little drift right there at the end. But overall, I think we're doing pretty good. Now, if there's one thing we're all good at, and I'm sure you are too, is aiming directly for your own legs. And we don't need to do that. Now, I'm curious, did I get another 52? or did it bump up a little bit? But uh, we're about to find out because I am just a little bit curious here. All right, get this on the screen here. There we go. Nope, 52. I'm good with that though, 52. Now I'm gonna uh, let the front, all right, gyro, relax. I'm gonna let the front suspension move a little bit and see if we can do some jumps so now I can tell Wally that yeah he was probably running about 50 out there on that oval I mean he was drifting this thing man so oh man now when he was running it I had the suspension pulled down like on the test run before he realized he wanted to actually race a red cat uh, I had the suspension loose. Oh, I gotta take my GPS thing off. But uh, yeah, he was carrying a tire on the inside tire and he was carrying that tire and losing speed. So I pulled the suspension down and that was what got him fixed up. Now I'm curious, Vitavon's gonna make some motor mounts for this thing and we should be able to do all kinds of good stuff, man. Like gearing just to no end, right? That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Nice hop right there. And yeah, you don't want to do this with your suspension pulled down. Want to let, want to let that suspension move a little bit. I want to see if there's something good. See if they've done some work over here. They've done work, but not really what I wanted to see. Let's see here. 
I at least want to see what's on the back side. Oh, at least they cleaned it up, sort of. Okay, we're gonna try something stupid. I'm gonna try to hit that and clear over to here. Yeah, see, now it wants to pop a wheelie. Look at this. With that, oh, with that suspension up. Woohoo! Yeah! Nice! Yes, I'm probably entertaining Mr. Sheriff over there. If I can catch this again here. Oh! I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm happy with this truck, man. I mean, for real. That was a hard hit. Ooh, uh-oh. Looks like something finally broke on it. What did I finally break? The front end is no longer pulling. Oh, I broke a, uh, you can hear that center diff moving. All right, I guess this runs over. Wonder what I broke. But we'll find out soon. Still, absolutely awesome truck, man. Now, if I did not have the 20 million in that center diff, it would not be driving at all. Well, guys, I think I smacked it a little bit too hard. Holy moly. <laughs> I shattered the front ring gear. Although I do have spare ring gears, as you can see right here, I did not pick up a spare gasket. Now, when this thing went, it did kind of chew the diff cup up a little bit, but I don't believe the diff cup is bad. It does have a few scars on the outside. Bearings are fine. The internal gears are perfectly fine as well. So I just uh, took out this pretty well here. So now I get to order some gaskets so I can put this thing back together correctly. I'll probably order a new diff cup too. So yeah, 52 miles per hour. In the bash session, I smacked something perfectly wrong and completely shattered the front ring gear. So if I had a gasket, I would have put that right back together and it would be ready to go. But I just didn't order gaskets. I'm gonna order some gaskets and a diff cup because why not, right? I mean, I have other parts just like sitting here just in case, but didn't think about actually shattering a ring gear. But it happens, guys. Um, check that description, use those links, hit that subscribe, ring that bell, and I want you all to know that I really do like this truck. I mean, Man, Wally drove the wheels off with this thing, man. He did great. But guys, check that description, do all those wonderful things, and you guys have a great day. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see, also for channel memberships, if you guys wanna be a part channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.